Good morning, everybody. This is Grant Russell with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, today is June 16th, 2023, and I'm happy to uh, present to you guys a used 2023 Renegade Explorer 38 EMB floor plan. This is an absolutely gorgeous coach here. Um, we just got it in. Customers that previous owners ordered a, a Renegade uh, XL with the, the bigger 45 foot. So they went larger, but this is in great shape. It's got 10,500 miles roughly on it. Uh, just wanna kinda go through some of the exterior on it and then we'll go on the interior and show you that as well. So um, come on with me, let's, uh, let's start down the side here. So first of all, the Explorer is kind of the big brother to the Verona LE. Um, if you're familiar with the Verona LE, a lot of the house components on this coach are uh, similar to what you get on a Verona LE. That being said, it is built on the Freightliner Cascadia P4 116. It's got a shorter nose, so it's a 116 um, P4 chassis Cascadia, which is a 505 horsepower with 1,850 pound-foot of torque. Um, so with that much horsepower and that much torque, it's gonna tow more, and it's gonna be a little bit better in the hills. So um, if you wanna pass, no problem. Come on down this way. Um, you'll notice um, on the side here, we've got uh, the double steps going into the cab. As you can see, you've got the two handles to pull yourself in on both sides. <clears throat> and then, um, oh yeah, that's right, this has a 120 gallon fuel tank. It's not dual, dual sides, it's all on the other side, so when we get to that side, I'll show it to you. Um, this does have the safety assurance package, so it's got blind spot monitoring, um, it does have collision mitigation, adaptive cruise, those types of things um, through the safety assurance package. Uh, coming down the line here, first bay. So you'll notice, first of all, this has the optional uh, spray-in bed liner. So it's just the, all the cargo compartments have a bed liner material, that gray material is a spray-in. And then also back here in the back, these blue boxes here, this has a 3000 watt Victron inverter system on it for the whole house. And as I close these doors, you'll notice um, we've got the dual latch, slam, side swinging slam latch, baggage doors. Very nice and easy to operate. So we're on the, we're on the patio side. So this, they free up a lot of these compartments for additional storage. Um, in here, you'll notice we've got a little access port here. There's an electrical outlet. You need to plug anything in, run the lines out to the base of the coach here. You can do that and keep your door closed. Right up above this compartment, we do have outside entertainment. A Samsung LED television with soundbar. And then um, I paired my phone earlier to this coach. Let me see if I can get hooked back up to it. Attempting connection. So I'm set on the awnings right now. So you notice up top we've got a Gerard awning. And I'm gonna hold this extend button now, and out comes my awning. So this has a dual pitch patio awning that'll cover almost the whole side of the coach, but most of your patio side gives you some nice shade coverage out here. While I'm holding that down, just to mention the exterior of this one here, we've got the um, Stratus is the name of the exterior color on this. Absolutely stunning very sharp colors <clears throat> next bay down we've got the aqua hot 450d that's a diesel burner we've got about a 15 gallon tank of antifreeze in this um, there's about 50 feet of copper coil inside of that box and what that it kind of acts as a uh, kind of like a baseboard heating in a home you've got that supplies the heat for the coach the living quarters it also provides you continuous hot water um, and it uh, 
does a great job for long showers, so make sure you have the burner running when you're running that hot water system. You notice at the entrance here, we've got a keypad here, so I can, I can set the code there to lock and unlock my house entrance door. It also should have uh, key fobs too, I believe, for the entrance doors. LED docking lights, LED uh, light above the door there. And then of course you got your LED lights in the uh, overhead awning there. Okay, so this one, you've got the frame rail here behind this wall but they've got like a three-quarter pass-through there underneath. So golf clubs, fishing poles, paddle boards, tables, chairs, all your outside gear you can slide right under there. Nice little extra storage there. And again, nice, the gray bed liner spray in there. It's a nice touch with this Explore. Again, a little additional storage. In this compartment, you'll notice we've got a central back. Um, it does have a whole house central back system that, is an op that it's optioned with. And you can use the outside port to vacuum some of your bays. It's also where you change your filter out. You'll notice the air hose there. So you've got a 50 foot air hose. You can tap into the air on the coach, use the air on the coach to put air in other vehicle tires. Coming around to the back here, we've got, so Renegade does a two-piece molded fiberglass rear cap. Um, and down below here, we have brake controller. We have the Voyager plug. That's for if you wanted to plug in a camera on a trailer, or you've got, you've got a, a camera on the tow vehicle, you can toggle between the, the actual truck backup camera or the tow vehicle camera, trailer camera. <clears throat> then you got a hitch here. This will, this, this coach is rated to tow up to, I believe it's 30,000, 20, at least 20,000 pounds. Don't quote me on that, but 20,000 definitely, maybe up to 30. I'd have to double check on that. All LED running lights, brake lights, reverse lights. All right. In this bay, you've got your 50 amp. So I can walk my 50 amp out to plug it into the power pole. And then when it comes time to leave, you do have a push button right here to reel it back in. And of course, you got your cap. Keep that closed off there for travel. And it has your transfer switch is going to be located here. So that transfer power between shore, shore power when you're plugged into a pedestal or, the, or when I have the generator running, which I do right now, the transfer switch will kick in. So I've got 50 amp power for the whole coach off of the 8,000 watt diesel generator. We got 69 hours on this bad boy. Little use, 10,500 miles, 69 hours. It's not even broke in yet. Okay, dump station. Everything's labeled nicely for you. It's never gonna peel off. That's all etched in there. Um, black tank, you got the black tank dump, the gray tank dump, sewer flush on this side. Place to store your hose for your sewage hose. It also has a retractable Pull the, the city water. You pull this out and you're going to hook it up to your city water. And then you have a <clears throat> hose reel in to reel that back in. Makes life easy. And then you have your whole house water filtration system. Again, these are, your, these are um, enclosed dump valves. And those will dump, the black and the gray is gonna be 75 gallons on the black and 75 gallons on the gray. Come over in this bay, when, a, when we pull those lines, it's gonna dump. These are your holding tanks. They are heated, these are heated holding tanks. Um, this has the optional 
uh, flow jet sewage macerator pump. So it will, it will grind up your waste and pump your wastewater out. There's this additional storage there for the holding tanks. You can see the, the CVP pipe down below here for the sewage. Okay, in this bay, so this has the optional three 270 amp hour Dragonfly Energy. So 270 amp hours per battery. Got three of those. It also has three 175 watt solar panels. And then on the left, we've got the three cranking batteries. This is a decorative cover here because behind here is a 120 gallon fuel tank. And I talked about it earlier where you fill it. What's nice is you just fill it from one side. So 120 gallons of fuel, just fill it from one side. And then here's your death fill as well. Again, easy entrance getting in and out of the cab. The nice advantage about a Super C motorhome when you pull into a fuel stop or something, you can quickly get out, fill up, um, got exit doors on both sides. A uh, little more, you've got more in front of you. If you, if you work on your own engines, your, your own mechanic, you're changing out your belts, changing the oil, you can appreciate having a front engine. Oh yeah, this one comes with a Herd, 300 series Herd grill guard. Previous owner put that on and has left that on. It's a nice touch. Pull these to release it. Drop this down. I've already got the latches released on the hood. I'm gonna grab this here and pull it forward. Now we can check out the power platform. So the P4116 is equipped with a DD13 505 horsepower Detroit diesel engine. 1,850 pound foot of torque. You can see how it's easy to access by all the different fluids, dipsticks. That's a good look at the, the DD13. Close this back. Soft close. Real simple, real simple to open and close if you notice how simple that was. All right. Go check out the interior. I left the slides in so we can see how much room we got when we go inside here. You'll see how much room there is to navigate up and down. So come on in. As we're going in, you'll see a nice touch the way they have the Corian steps and explorers lit up there. Beautiful decor. The interior of this one is called Pearl. I walked all the way to the front here. You can see how much room we've got to get up back and back and forth throughout the coach. Um, theater seating is an option this one came with. A little smaller dinette, a little Euro dinette here. I've got the TV in the up position right now. But I'm paired to, paired to this on my phone, so I'm gonna go ahead and run these slides out. Let's see if we can get back in. All right. So what's nice about having the your your mobile device paired to the coach, you'll notice I'm just holding holding the button down on my phone to run this slide. I could be doing this from anywhere around the coach. So if you are somewhere and let's say you've got trees or vehicles, you had a rest stop and you want to make sure that you're not bumping your, running your slide out too close to another vehicle, you can go outside and eyeball these. Now I know we've got plenty of room on this one, so I'm just gonna run all the slides out and show you how much room you're gonna get. But you'll notice as this is going out, um, got the nice big LED Samsung television there. A lot of folks use this as a wet bar area. We've got some Full extension drawer glides, great storage in this little area. And overhead, 
This overhead cabinet here is for audio video satellite. So this one does this comes with high definition um, traveler, the bigger. So they've they come standard with the in motion satellite, the dome style satellite. This one did get upgraded with the bigger high definition, which does have to stow and travel. It does have that, and then you got your Blu-ray player here. All your electricals all already wired in to plug and play. And then we got the residential refrigerator. Renegade does a nice job on um, these little latches here to lock and unlock. So your ice, ice makers down below. Refrigerator up top. Okay, and then um, coming around to the kitchen area. Got some good storage here. Again, all Corian countertops. No wasted storage. That's the subwoofer. So that, that this does have the Samsung sound bar, which is above the TV, which we were showing earlier. It does have a nice little ha uh, home stereo system with the little subwoofer underneath here. And then again, uh, full extension drawer glides. All your drawers are dovetail construction. <clears throat> so you got the dovetail on all drawer, drawer guides. And then true induction cooktop. Convection microwave oven. You notice when I open these cabinets too, it's going down the line here. Renegade uses a nice heavy duty hardware. So you're not, you, they're not leaking down on you when you're trying to load these and unload them. They stay up for you when you have them in the up position and they're just real simple to open and close. All real, true maple wood construction. Um, all your cabinetry throughout is maple. Uh, the color of this one is woodstock, I believe. Yeah, cabinet finish is woodstock. And then the um, theater seats. Got little lights for your cup holders. They're very comfortable. Sit here and I want to recline. Oops. Push button electric. What's nice about the electric theater seats is you can set these at whatever height you want to have them at. The drawback I would say on this is it sleeps two. That's okay. It's a perfect two person coach. Uh oh, somebody's calling. I'll have to call them back. Um, also, there's, uh, there's little tabletops in here. These go in place like so. Little TV trays, if you will. And they store right inside the pocket here. And you've got some storage here as well. There's another tabletop for the left side. Now earlier I was mentioning that I was paired, uh, I am paired to it, so you can operate your lights, um, your slides, your awning. You can actually pair to the hydraulic jacks on this coach too. And, operate the jacks using your mobile device so super handy very simple to operate um, so come on back we'll go back to the back and then we'll go back up to the front here towards the end and show the co the cockpit area more storage here above and below the firefly system here so this is where you go in to what's called the mobile app i'm paired to it at the moment but this is the uh, Vega Touch Mira is what it's called. And at the home screen there, you can see I can, I've got controls for my, all my lights, check on my holding tanks, water pump, tank heaters, generator controls. I can go directly to just the lights, front, rear, exterior, generator. <clears throat> the generator does, uh, does have automatic generator start controls. So these are some you can set the different trigger points uh, if you want it to kick the generator on when the temperature calls for it or you want to kick the generator generator on at certain times or at low voltage there are different trigger points that you have to enable um, again we, we we do demonstrate that and show you how all that works so if you did do a 
purchase with us, plan on spending a few hours with us learning how all this works here. That's your thermostat controls for front and rear, <coughs> excuse me, and your aquat controls, um, and then bay heat. It does have floor bay heat. Also, um, it says front floor and rear floor. They're both off right now because it's a nice day, but this does have the optional heated tile floor, so that is integrated into that system there. And here's some fan controls uh, and TV up and down controls. That's also on your, everything I'm showing you on here is, is in the in the app. Um, so I'll show you guys on my phone. So you can see it's very similar, very easy to operate and navigate through. Lights, thermostat, slides. It's asking me to confirm that I, do I want to run my slides and awnings. So pretty simple to operate. There's some slide controls, and then there's the settings. All right, that's the Vega Touch Mira. Um, coming to the back here, I guess I should have ran the back slides out. So let's do that while I've got this open. There's two more slides in the rear. Go in here to the rear. As it's going out, um, you notice the mid bath. You want to get a shot of that. Porcelain toilet. Um, it's got a macerator flushing toilet. Some great storage in there. I'll step in there and kind of show you guys. I'm six foot two. Let me show you how much room you got in the shower here. So, plenty of headroom. I could be five, six more inches, and I'm probably pushing it there. I am six two, and I got nice, lots of elbow room. Pretty good amount of space for headroom and taking a shower. You do have a oh, medicine cabinet here, a lot of counter space for your bathroom items. And then here's some pretty good storage, a couple shelves in here for all your toiletry items. All right, and then coming around back here, we've got, <laughs> sorry, it's getting tight. Um, little storage there. The Victron inverter system controls are gonna be located here, and your house and your inverter con uh, breakers are gonna be located here. Stackable washer and dryer. Okay, and then let me get this out. All right, and we got a wardrobe slide. RV King. Nice deep storage overhead. Ceiling fan. They don't see ceiling fans in a lot of RVs, but they do have one in the Renegades. And so there's electrical outlets and 110, or excuse me, USB ports on both sides of the bed. Notice the little ledges, nice place to put your phone if you're charging something, get it up and out of the way. Under the bed, you've got the 150 gallons. If I can get, if I can get my fingers under there. Yeah, there we go. There's 275 tanks, but you got 150 gallons of fresh water. This is where Renegade puts them. So your water pump, there's some access points down below to dump the waters. Everything's easy to get to. And a plus on this is it's inside the living quarters. That's all, it's all heated when you're using these coaches in winter use. You do have heat strips on the holding tanks. And then, of course, there's heat down in the basement area already on this coach, but you also have your tanks inside of it are heated as well. Two 15,000 BTU air conditioners, both with heat pumps, all ducted. Then you'll have these little touch pads throughout the coach for lights, ceiling, reading lights, floor accent lights, fan controls. <clears throat> Everything's nicely labeled. 
So come on up front here. Um, just to point out a few things, the overall length of this coach is 38 feet, six inches. The height at ride height to the top of the air conditioners is 13 feet, two inches. The gross vehicle weight on this coach is 41,000 pounds. You've got a cargo carrying capacity of 7,223 pounds. It should cover a pretty good amount of some, some of the specs that I wanted to make sure I mentioned on it. All right, so coming up front here, again, we're in a Freightliner Cascadia P4 116. The dash design is very nice, the way it's ergonomically designed, everything's facing the driver. I'm gonna turn this on. Notice overhead, we've got backup camera, so that permanently stays on. I turn my blinker on, it's gonna go to the right camera. I turn my left blinker on, it's gonna go to my left camera. Blinker goes off, it's gonna go right back to the reverse the back of uh, something keep an eye on my tow vehicle or just traffic in general behind me cb radio this has been added to it a nice little plus that you get on on the with this coach the cb radio you have some nice little overhead storage compartments there's one here there's also the one above the passenger seat all right and then um, these are air ride seats very comfortable very plush soft leather um, air ride seats. And it's a, again, it's a 505 horsepower Detroit diesel, 1850 pound foot of torque. I got power windows on both sides. Um, these windows have been tinted, I can tell. That's a little tent that's been done to the windows. Got a Garmin control here. So if I want, if, if I've got passengers with me that want to control, like? oh, got the GPS on. Go in here. So if the passengers want to navigate, help navigate, or change radio stations, crank up the volume. Where they want to use it for, it is mobile. It does need to dock here though, so it stays charged. I've got a built-in brake controller here, so I can set the different settings for the brake controller. Um, PSI on the front and rear air, transmission temperature, dash air conditioner controls. Um, this switch here just toggles, but this is the camera. So I can toggle the camera between the truck camera or if I have a trailer, I can flip this switch forward and it's gonna go to the feed and the trailer. It's not doing anything because we don't have anything hooked up. 12 volt outlet here, We've got one down below three of them got plenty of double outlets if I want to lower the suspension on the back I can drop the height I can drop it or always that's if you need to lower the rear you can use this switch here to lower the suspend or to drop the suspension height excuse me. and then you go back to normal and that brings it back up to right height uh, this is your differential lock air brake uh, this is the trailer air supply brake if you've got a trailer that has air brakes on it, that's the controls for it. Um, trailer brake here. Light test, that's kind of nice. If you click that on, it runs a series of light tests throughout the coach so you can walk around the coach and make sure you've got working lights. So it's a nice little feature there as well. Reach in, um, these are lights for, like if I wanna light up my foot well, the foot well, um, if you notice, kind of on the passenger side and underneath my feet here, that lights up the, the foot well. Hazard controls, dome lights, utility lights, automatic traction control. Um, it's all the, everything's nicely labeled. And then in the dash cluster, I guess I could turn that down. Sorry if I'm getting any feedback there. Um, so it does have TPMS. Like right now it's telling me I've got low pressure in my front tires, probably because it's just been sitting out in the, and get it going and they warm up, but um, then easy to navigate through the different um, features in it. Braking, uh, if I want to go into the TPMS, go directly into it, toggle between the front, you can see the fronts are sitting at 104 and 103, 
So you get a little air in there and there's the rear tires. Everything's green, looks good. I can go back. So very easy to navigate through the dash cluster. Um, also your Allison. It's got an Allison T. Uh, this has an Allison 4000 series and the controls are going to be here. I can manually, I can put it in a manual mode if I want to automatically shift between the different speeds or leave it in the automatic and literally go forward for drive, back for reverse, or back to neutral. Set right now. So we're all good there. Um, what else? Air horn over here on the side. Or I've got my city horn. Um, yeah, no, it's the coach is in excellent condition. Um, again, today's June 16th. Uh, next time you see this video, I don't know if it'll still be available, but it is available today. Um, happy to help you out if you have any more questions on it, you have interest in this coach or anything else on the lot, please feel free to reach out to me. Again, my name's Grant Russell. You can reach me best at uh, my cell phone at 720-539-4711 or shoot me an email at grussell, two S's, two L's, G-R-U-S-S-E-L-L -L, at transwest.com. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Happy camping.